Welcome back to Call of the Wild. So today I'm going to show you how we ended up hunting down one of the biggest mule deer bucks I've ever seen in Call of the Wild. And we did it with the bow. I'll tell you the whole story here in just a second, but first we have a whole herd of water buffalo right below us. Now I don't really know what these all are here and I don't want to spot them because then we'll have a water buffalo need zone here and I do not want a water buffalo need zone right in my best mule deer spot. So let's just try and pick one out that's sort of broadside. Like maybe that one there? Yeah, that could work. Try for a heart shot. Okay, that was a very delayed reaction there, but I feel like it still should have been double lung. Yeah, it was double lung shot, and we actually didn't miss the heart by much. A little bit too far back, still a really good shot, 84%, and we ended up with a gold out of that, not bad. And now that we're done being sidetracked by the water buffalo, let's get back to the hunt. Let me tell you what, these things will drive you absolutely wild. Last night I had one stalk me for two hours straight. It wouldn't stop following me. But like every hunt, there has to be a beginning and an ending. And the beginning was we're out on multiplayer because I've been hunting my maps for several months now in search for two particular diamonds. One, a diamond red deer, or two, a diamond mule deer for our trophy lodge. We don't have either one. In fact, I've never even seen a diamond potential red deer. I do have one diamond mule deer, but it's not in our lodge. It was before the lodges came out. So anyways, we're out on multiplayer, and we came down to the far southeast uh, lake here on Parque Fernando. And I'll show you where we're at here in a second, but we're just south of Lago Bibi. I'm sure a lot of people know where that is. Anyways, we came over here, and I spotted something over here. I thought it was either uh, kind of like a medium sized stag or honestly I didn't know what it was. I didn't even think twice about it. I looked past it and I just kept looking. But anyways, I finally spotted it and I saw it was a five medium mule deer. And when I saw that, that's when it hit me. Okay, that's not a red deer. That is the biggest mule deer I've ever seen. And when I saw that, I knew he was definitely down potential. The only problem is when I spotted him, it was 1220, okay? And the need zone, I just checked the map, ends at 1230. So by the time I figured out what I actually wanted to do, besides taking a 320 yard shot with the 30 odd six, which I could have probably done instantly, but then I wouldn't have had any time to record it or anything like that. So uh, that wasn't really an option for me. So by that time he was already trotting off this way and it was a multiplayer server, so I didn't have control all the time. But I actually followed him all the way over to this point up over here. And I spotted him up on this hill. And it's a resting zone. That is a giant. No way. We got his rest zone. So when I got his resting zone, I knew that there's going to be a really good chance he was going to come from this area here and go back to his drinking zone in the morning. The only problem is it was multiplayer and I had to wait until either the host left or change the time. So basically I went and had dinner, waited, did whatever I could, came back and the server of the, of the, uh, well, the host of the server actually left and that is when it was game time. So basically what we did was we went over to this lodge right here. Now this is my map, so it's completely different, but I changed the time back to 8.30 and I set up four tree stands. That way, when this mule deer would come back, there was a good chance he was gonna come all the way over to this point here. Now this is my map here, so you're not gonna see a mule deer need zone. Although there, this is a really good spot for mule deer as well, so don't get me wrong. So anyways, we had four stands set up here. The one I chose was the one right in the middle. And well, this is what happens next. All right, looks like our first buck is on the way. It's not him, but he shouldn't be too far away. Got another buck coming in right behind. And another buck right behind. We gotta keep an eye out because he might try and cut around the backside here and we don't want that. So as we're waiting in the tree stand for a little while, I knew we got there a little bit early to give him plenty of time to get there before we actually would spook them. Now I knew the wind was in our favor. The wind was blowing down. It was blowing it was blowing south down this direction here and so I knew that there was a really good chance that the buck was probably going to come in front of us and if he did come in front of us these two stands were going to be no good here because if the wind's blowing this way and he walks past he's going to smell our scent from right here. So as time went by mule deer kept coming in and we spotted pretty much the entire herd except for him. 
And it looks like they're gonna drink 50 yards in front of us. This buck stopped here at 31. Got another doe coming there. Another doe coming there. Well, I was kind of hesitant on whether or not he actually was going to come in because there's a good chance he could have found a different drinking zone somewhere else nearby. Or maybe he's behind us in the brush and we just can't see him. Well, then this happens. Look at the size of this thing. Jeez, that thing's a giant. This is the first five medium mule deer I've seen since before the trophy line just came out. And this guy's about to walk right past us. Holy. This is unbelievable. Wow. Whew. Have to calm down a little bit here because this thing is huge. He's 30. He's 30 yards from us, guys. Oh my god. Please stop. No way. We smoked him. Oh my god. That's a giant. Get a consecutive check real quick. Holy. Here's our consecutive check. Looks like we're good. 100%. And I don't think I've ever shook this much before, but yeah, I am shaking like crazy. And here he is. He's a diamond. No way. No way. A true 1,000 scoring diamond mule deer. And we took him 17 yards out of a tree stand with, with a bow. I'm still shaking right now. I've wanted one of these for so long, and especially the big rack like this. Uh, I just, uh, let's take a look at the shot. Almost made a hard shot, a little bit too high. 17 yard double lung liver shot. So he was absolutely smoked. And that thing is massive. 1,000 scoring with a trophy rating of 550. He weighed 460 pounds. Holy, that, that's like a dream come true. That is definitely a dream come true. To take him out of the tree stand with a bow. All right, let's show you where we just got that giant 1,000 scoring diamond muley. We are on the southeast map here, on the southeast uh, lake, as what I was trying to say, below Lago Bibi. Now, I spotted the Dime Potential Mule Deer right here at this need zone from 9 until 12.30. Now, here's what's interesting. I've been coming to this same lake several different times every single time I come to this map, and I've never seen even close to a Dime Potential Mule Deer. Uh, the biggest one I saw was like a 4, and he wasn't even a 940. He was like 920s or something. But anyways... That is where multiplayer comes in. So that's why I decided to go to multiplayer. So every time I come to my map, I always see tons of water buffalo, maybe one or two small mule deer, and a couple of small stags. Mostly just tons of water buffalo. Tons of them. It's like they can never get enough of this spot. Well, here he is. Our 1,000 scoring diamond mule deer that we took down with the bow and... I honestly didn't think that this would ever happen, especially since the true racks will be coming out probably not too long from now. 
I really didn't think that this would happen. I've hunted so long for this guy or something even close to this big. Well, I guess sometimes that's where dedication and persistence pays off because eventually you get lucky, you get in the right place at the right time and you find what you're looking for. What's interesting about this buck is had I come there 20 minutes later, I never would have seen this buck because he was leaving the need zone. Now, we could have came there before, but there's a good chance if you come there before, you might have gotten there before the need zone actually started. So, we just got really lucky that we got there at the right exact time and we just barely caught a glimpse of this guy before he left the need zone. Set up a stand and everything else just worked out perfect. And yeah, he's a giant. And with this new addition to our trophy lodge here, we're gonna have an OG Diamond 1000 scoring whitetail and an OG Diamond 1000 scoring mule deer. I really didn't think that that would happen. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and we'll see you next time.